What's up everybody? This is Dave Kemp with Fieldcraft Survival. We're out here at Tombstone Gun Range today. Let's talk about one of the big fundamentals, which is trigger control. We see a lot of students, they really don't have any idea how to press the trigger. There is a way to do it. We go into that in a lot of detail in our classes. One of the things I think is missing a lot for most students is just confidence, just knowing that a certain style of trigger press is gonna equal great results. So I'm a big fan of doing drills where you start up close, give people confidence, and they can see that their gun is accurate, that they don't have a lot to do it, and then back up as we move along. Here's the important thing about shooting up close. It's not just that you're close and it's easy. You're trying to remember your mental process while you're pressing the trigger. Up close, you see the target very clearly, you see your sights very clearly, and you don't spend a whole lot of time worrying about whether you're gonna miss or not. So you take the slack out, and just smoothly press the trigger. For some reason, when we get farther back, people tend to press the trigger slower. They're just waiting longer and hoping that the moves and all of a sudden, subconscious gets in the way. Your brain tells your muscles to move and help out and now we're missing. So what's real important is just not being confident that your gun is accurate up close, but paying close attention to what you're thinking about, what your mindset is as you press the trigger on a close target. So here's what we do in these drills, these classes. We'll top off a mag here. Gun. We'll start off about two yards. And we'll come up and just pick a small target. It's pretty much like a one hole drill. The ultimate goal is just not putting all your shots into one hole. It's to remember what you were thinking when you press the trigger. You're trying to really get that ingrained in your thought process. We'll come up, pick a small target. We're gonna try and hit the same. And then we'll move, we'll back up to about five yards. We'll do the same thing. Come out, see my target. I'm fairly confident, just on at a short distance. Back up seven yards, ten yards, wherever the distance is. I'm trying to recreate now that I'm at ten, the same feeling I had on the gun at two yards. See the sights? Just press the trigger because it's easy to hit the target. Mental mindset, your mental picture. I my, my sight. I just press the trigger the same as I'm close. I almost tried to envision that there's a sheet of paper about one inch in front of my muzzle. It looks like the target. So I'm not shooting 10 yards, I'm shooting one inch away. If you had to shoot something from one inch away, you would just put the gun there and just press the trigger. That's essentially what we want you to do from here, from 10 yards, see the sights, and then just press the trigger. All right, so now we're back to 20 yards. We're shooting an eight inch steel plate. Ultimately, what we're just trying to do is have the same mindset, if we can, is that like we're one inch away from the target. Uh, the trigger press, we don't want it to take twice as long. We're not just going crazy on the trigger either, but it's essentially high level of confidence just seeing the front side on the target, slack out, and then making the gun go up. We'll see what happens here. Front side on the target, slack out the trigger. Normal press. I'm trying to imagine that this orange steel plate is a little orange pasty target one inch away from the front of my barrel. It's not 20 yards away, it's one inch away, and it's essentially almost impossible to miss. So that's my thought process as I get my front sight on the target. I see it in the middle of the steel. Miss that one. I miss them all. Man, I suck at shooting. Uh, this is gonna be like the day where we did like a hundred takes to try and shoot some drill under three seconds. <laughs> Well, we'll see what happens next time. Here we go, 20 yards. Nothing to it. All right, we'll see what we can do. See, I've got iron sights and John's got a fancy red dot, you know, high tech thing. So maybe that's the reason why he's shooting better than me. I don't know. Mm.
He only shot it twice. So I'm only gonna shoot it twice. <laughs> I guess the competition will be whoever gets the most hits before missing. And if you miss the first one, you're out. And Dave challenged me because he said he was better. With, he was shooting iron sights, and I was shooting a dot. So I switched to my trusty old Glock 34, and we're gonna see. All right, let's oh, see what wow. happens here. You wish us a luck. Oh man, I think that's a, a DQ. I think yep, that's a disqualification. Ah, hey, I've got it running. I'm not gonna hit stop on there. I might miss my first one too. Man, prayer. Well, he wins. One to nothing. I take the first annual Tombstone Gun Range Fieldcraft Shooting Competition Championship. And you're gonna have to wait till next year, John. <laughs> Before I, I got 364 days to get ready for this. Thank yeah. goodness, because John's pretty good. I don't want to go up against him anymore today. So, <laughs> see ya.